Ohayou gozaimasu, Tokyo Haneda e Yokoso. You join me this morning at Tokyo Airport and I'm going to be flying from here all the way direct home to JFK in New York City. I'm really excited because today I'm actually flying on the Room Business Class. It's their newest business class. It's supposed to be one of the most revolutionary business class products on the planet and it looks awesome. So I'm going to be in a backwards facing window seat. It should be a lot of fun. It looks really spacious and the Japanese level service should be really amazing. So I've just gotten off the Tokyo monorail here, right at the airport. It's a lot more convenient than Narita. So I'm gonna head over to the terminal, do some shopping, I got plenty of time, and we'll check out the lounge, hop on board, and have a great experience. Yo, my name is Jeff, and I am obsessed with travel points and miles. It's kind of like extreme couponing, but instead of free groceries, the missus and I redeemed over $48,000 in flights last year. Join me as I review some of the most unique and luxurious travel experiences in the world. I always share how I find the best deals because who wouldn't want to have a first class experience on an economy budget? After a fast and friendly check-in experience, I quickly passed security and headed to the lounge. They also have a dedicated first class lounge if you're lucky enough to be flying in the suites. In the lounge, you'll find a substantial buffet with self-serve liquor and soft drinks available. So I've actually never flown with ANA before, but I have been in this lounge. So Amanda and I flew from this airport on United several years ago. And the one thing I remember is they had a great noodle bar. So I definitely went for the ramen here. Hopefully it's as good as I remember. There's also a great breakfast display. So super satisfied. Hopefully I see some appetite for later on. All right, that was a great visit to the lounge. Let's head to the gate now and hop on board this 777 ANA in the room. Super excited for this 12 hour flight. I'm really impressed by how busy this airport is. I know Japan just opened up for tourism again in the last few months. But everything looks really back to normal, so very exciting to see. Well, I've got about 10 minutes before boarding starts and I found a massage chair for 200 yen, so can't beat that. A nice relaxing airport massage chair before uh, heading on to the flight. Oh no, no turning left today. <laughs> oh well. All right, here we go. a and business class in the room all the way from here at Tokyo Haneda to New York JFK, 12 hours. Really excited to hop on board. My initial impressions were that this felt more like a big first class cabin, and it's not too far off from their fabulous first class suites that we'll see later in the video. Okay, here we go, 19A. This is insane. I've been so spoiled lately. These Asian carriers really take it to the next level. I think uh, already we've kind of set the tone that this is going to be a better flight than my last one. First, so we got seat controls right here with a dial to recline. You got your remote right here. Plenty of storage, obviously. There's tons of room here. So you get this little cubby here. We'll figure out what that is. And then over here, you got a little bin. Put some things in there. Find your barf bag. And here's the ANA amenity kit, so we'll break into that later and see what kind of goodies we got. These window shades are also great for filming. Check this out. Nice soft light here, or keep going, and you can black it out. And of course, there's lots of goodies at the seats. So we got some slippers here, headphones. I won't be using those because I got Bose headphones. Not one, but two pillows, and also two blankets. Maybe one's a mattress pad and the other a blanket. But... Always a fun experience taking off backwards. If you've ever flown backwards, let me know about your experience in the comments below. I've done it a few times and I actually really enjoy it. Uh, Amanda, not so much. I'm probably most excited about the food on board because uh, I'm getting hungry again. Now, one thing I'll give United a little bit of credit for is the contents of their amenity kit is a little bit more impressive than what we've got here. There are also two outside cameras you can view. I wish I had noticed these before takeoff. So we're still climbing out, but I was just handed a towel. Unfortunately, no hot towels. Just these little disposable ones. Really impressed with the menu. I went with the Japanese selection. I planned that all along, and I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Uh, also, I had to do the Japanese whiskey, so cheers to a great flight. Oh yeah, that's great stuff. So I was just served the Amuse Bouche. I know it's a booze, but I'm going to say Amuse. <laughs> uh, it's the ANA Signature Stick. 
with pastrami, turkey, and chili potato. The signature stick is almost like a granola bar of some type, but it tastes really a little on the sweet side, but I really like it. Well, I think I found Avgi Kevin. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm having so much fun and really enjoying this. Uh, great start with the food service. Loving it so far. Really looking forward to that Japanese meal and enjoying this flight. Well, the appetizers just arrived, and this is how it's done, my friends. This looks amazing. I am so excited for this meal. Fabulous Japanese main course just arrived, and we've got this beautiful meal with rice and miso. So I'm excited to get to this. It looks really great. Well, I'm getting pretty full, but who can pass up a great dessert like this? At the close of meal service, we were handed another disposable towel as well as a bottle of water to stay hydrated, which is great. So now I'm going to put this bed into the flatbed mode and see how comfortable it is and hopefully get a, a little bit of sleep along the way too. So now in the flatbed mode, tons of space over here as you can see. Uh, unlike the Singapore Airlines, see, you don't have to sleep diagonally. But I suppose if you're a little bit taller than I am, I'm six foot one, 73 inches, uh, 185 centimeters. I think if you're a little bit taller, you could probably sleep diagonally and have a little bit more room that way, but it feels very comfortable, very spacious. And uh, plus you could close the doors here and then it's gonna be very private as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we've got a, a really great private space tons of room. I mean, this is really first class type space that you've got here. And uh, I don't know, it's amazing. I love watching live TV in the sky and a, a has live news and sports, as well as a large selection of movies. And you can even do your duty free shopping through the in-flight entertainment screen. The screen is bigger than any other business class I've flown in and it definitely has fantastic 4K picture quality, just like this video you're watching. Internet was available starting at $6.95 US, but I paid $21.95 for the full flight, and it worked reasonably well for a pretty good price. And now, the most important part of the video, that's right, it's a Japanese loo review. You'll be happy to see there is a full bidet with adjustable water pressure, although the seat isn't heated like most Japanese toilets. The sink is touchless with plenty of great amenities on hand like face and body wipes, plenty of stuff to keep your mouth clean, and even protection for your behind as well. And of course, there's a luxurious child changing tray. It's been a really fun, really relaxing flight. I got a little bit of sleep, got a lot of relaxation, watched a couple of movies, and uh, I feel pretty rested and good to go. Of course, I went with the Japanese breakfast, got to get a little taste of Japan before heading home, and um, got a Coke Zero for a little caffeine before my three-hour drive back home from JFK. So this looks awesome. Well, the sun is rising. I've just been told we've got just over an hour before we land. So a little bit about how I found such a great deal for this flight. I transferred American Express points to Avianca Life Miles. At the time, they were offering a 15% transfer bonus, and Avianca was only charging 63,000 points, plus about $90 in taxes for this flight. That's really incredible for a business class flight to Asia because those typically run closer to 100,000 points. Not sure why, but really great deal. Now, one of the cool things about Life Miles is you can actually buy them really cheap on occasion. Sometimes uh, during the holidays and other times of year, they sell them for like 1.2, 1.3 cents each, which means that this flight, if you didn't have any points, you can actually buy those points and still spend another $1,000 one way rather than the $5,000 plus cash price that you pay otherwise. Now, there are also a number of different credit cards that transfer to Avianca. So in addition to American Express, you can transfer to Avianca through City Points. You can transfer to them through Capital One Venture X Points. It's one of the best deals going if you're looking to book premium cabins on Star Alliance Airlines. And this has been an exceptional experience, certainly very much worthy of their five-star rating. 
so some final thoughts here as we wrap up our flight and uh, we're just about to start to set. This is one of the best business class flights I've ever been on and certainly one of the best business class products in the sky. I loved every minute of it. I'm a little sad it's almost over. I'm still excited to go home. Would I do this again? Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to another uh, great experience with ANA in the future. And I'd really like to try Japan Airlines as well. So if you've flown on either of the Japanese airlines, please let me know your story in the comments below. It was really a pleasure to experience this level of service because this is something that you really can't get with a US airline. Now there's always something you could do better and if I have to be very critical I'd say the amenity kit could be a little bit better and maybe they could provide pajamas in business class but other than that, amazing. So if you're flying with someone, I would get a couple of these middle seats here that are close together. That's really nice. Also, we'll get to check out the first class cabin here. This is cool. Arigato gozaimashita. So these are the suites. Those are really nice. Arigato gozaimashita. That's a wrap. That was ANA, the room business class, all the way from Tokyo to New York. That was one of the best business class flights I've ever been on. Had a really great time. I hope you also get the opportunity to fly with this fabulous airline in the future. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit the like button. That really helps me out. And if you'd like to see where I'm headed next or you're interested in more travel deals, be sure you subscribe to the channel. Yo, my name's Jeff and I believe the journey is half the fun. Sayonara.